Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, be sure to subscribe and join the Discord. I'm going to be doing something different today, and that is rating my Discord members' builds. If you are new, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, let's go ahead and dive into it. Uh, I have this thread in my Discord that's just for your builds, and it's kind of loaded, and I actually want to look at everyone's builds over, just again, just for fun, to see what they are running and what kind of shenanigans they're doing with their units. So let's go ahead and take a dive. Uh, hopefully this shows up decently. Um, can I zoom in? Uh, no, okay, so this will just have to work. Uh, it should be fine. So, Adventure Raz, but he's a damage dealer. <laughs> he's got 350 critical damage, 83% crit chance, 157. He's slow as dirt. He's on destruction and can't set. Uh, it's funny. Uh, 19,000 HP and 1,200 uh, defense. Listen, it's it's a build, that's for sure. Um, he probably hits hard when he crits. That's pretty funny. Look at the lights, pretty funny. He's got like no attack though, but uh, pretty funny. Moving on to the next one, it's a Giselle. All right, so let's see what's up with this Giselle. Two hundred three speed, quite fast for a Giselle. I you can probably lower her. Um, three thousand four hundred twenty four attack. It's okay, and then ooh, 300. That's not terrible, because it's got one imprint. Uh, if you run her... Oh, this is an issue. Her artifact's not plus 30, so this thing probably won't kill anything realistically. That is, like, tanky. You need a bit more. Closer to 4,000 attack. Uh, the, the critical damage is fine if you plan on running her at the mid and get that critical damage buff, then it's fine, but I think you're lacking just a little bit of attack. You can definitely slow her down for more damage, that's for sure, but it's not bad for being... Uh, it looks like you just did one rotation, I assume. One artifact and an A imprint. That's very possible in one rotation. Uh, going on to... What is this? Whenever it wants to load. Angel Light of Jellica. Gross. 247 speed. 17,000 attack. Uh, 1370 defense. And effectiveness is 116%. She's on counter set with this much speed. That's ridiculous for a counter set, I think. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> that's toxic. Um, okay, I see it. I like it. This is this is some MLM uh, shenanigans right here. If you don't have a way to, because uh, uh, you kind of have to be, you're forced to hit Angel of Light, or she could see her push. So if she just silences you, you just like you just hate life. I hate this thing, but it's really well built. That's pretty. That's pretty clever. Going on to was this a uh, Rylet? Oh boy, Rylet build. Let's see, almost four thousand attack. It's really really nice. Two hundred eighty critical damage. One hundred percent crit chance. 189 speed and 11,000 HP, and then 1,100 defense. I'm not a I'm not a Rylet user. I don't actually have him, but just by looking at this, it looks pretty good just for damage because he's on he's on life steal pen. I think this thing will chunk. I don't know if the crit damage is quite there. I'm not I'm not sure exactly what you're looking for for crit damage or crit stats, but the attack seems there. The crit damage does seem a little uh, a little low though. I think you want to push this probably close to 300, um, but that's just maximizing his build right, and also his artifacts not maxed. So pretty good, pretty good. Moving on, what's this? Arbiter Vildred. Um, nice level 71 piece. Nice 70 piece. 71 boots, so he might be a newer player, it looks like, just by looking at his account. Let's see this. 4,200 attack, really good. Um, 338 critical damage, so he's he's gonna hit hard, but his crit chance is like 80% only, so that's not gonna... And he's also slow as dirt. Oh boy. Um, you definitely want to up your crit chance to 100% if possible. You can probably sack some critical damage for that. Uh, obviously, you want to get level 85 to 90 pieces, like 88... That's I think 88 pieces would be good for you. Um, and then speed him up a bit. I think 200 speed would be better for this build. So probably put him on some speed boots. Therefore, sacking some of your attack. But it should be fine if you sack your attack a bit just to speed him up so he can actually take the turn. He's on... Um, well, technically, this is like Worcester Saviors, pretty much. So he'll do a lot of damage to anyone that's above half health. Not a bad build. It's just you can tell he's new. It's pretty good for being a new player, to be honest. It's just missing that crit chance and speed. Moving on to Commander Pavel. He's on the uh, the missiles um, artifacts for more damage. Let's see this. 5,400 attack. That's crazy good. 
314 critical damage, which is really good because uh, if you put Cavill's stats in the calculator, his attack really scales him up and his crit damage, it does scale him, but not nearly as much. 99% crit chance. I know I'm going to have some people in the comments saying 50-50, but this is really good. 161 speed, perfect. And then the rest of the stats don't really matter. Yeah, this is a sicko. Oh, wait, he's not on, he's on crit chance, which is fine. It's either that or Torrent. I have mine on pen for my my single target hits did harder. Like my S1 and my Cavill hit so hard. It's pretty good. This is a pretty good build. Um, 5,400 attacks are really impressive for it only in imprints. And then, yeah, it's that's pretty sick. Um, Conquer Lilius. 300 speed exactly. I wish I could reach that. Uh, looks like you're going with a bulkier build. Um, no effectiveness or effect resistance. The It's kind of weird seeing this. Your speed is there. Perfect. You're just missing. You have a lot of health. Uh, Decent defense, I think. Um, 22,000 HP is really good. And then 1,000 defense, I guess it's fine for a kind of release. I don't really have it. I don't really know. Um, 53 effectiveness. You're not going to be able to provoke much of that. And then the effect resistance doesn't matter, right? So uh, this her speed is there. You just need to get that effectiveness up. Fair. Keeping that speed and getting effectiveness just comes with time. So everything looks good. It's just, you know, she's just going to be your opener mainly, which is fine. Really good unit. Uh, 300 speed is hard to hit. I can't even hit it, uh, and I wish I could. So moving on to what is this? Uh, this is a Aaron. It looks like I hate this unit. This unit's toxic. So let's see this. Low effect resistance, so he can get stunned, which is no. It is what it is. He looks like he opted for a more damage build, but he's dirt slow. So you could control this guy and strip him. It looks like. Um, lots of attack, lots of damage. 4,100 attack is crazy. And then 3, 315% critical damage, pretty good. 300, or with 100% crit chance. 130 speed, though, or 129 speed is technically dirt slow, but he doesn't counters it. Technically, you can be dirt slow. It's just you probably want more effect resistance. So I would recommend getting more effect resistance so you can't get stripped. Probably push this up to, like, 140, and you're really good. Other than that, damage is awesome. Uh, was this? Bologna? Whenever it wants to load, that'd be fantastic. I haven't seen any balloons in my server, so let's see this. 18,000 HP, 1,400 defense. That's typically around where she's going to be. She's not good against cleave, obviously, but she's good against standard. 185 speed. She's on counter set, so that's still a little slow, but it's fine. Um, 300 critical damage and 3,000 uh, 3, attack. Level 27 Sigurds, A imprints, pretty good, pretty good. Um, she doesn't need crit chance because of how she functions. She hits, she hits the crits. I feel like with your stats, 3k, 300, it's pretty good. Um, that's pretty good. I'm not sure what her optimal, like, super build is, but this is probably pretty decent. I think 200 speed would be ideal for her, maybe. Though she does get CR push in her S2, if I remember right, once she does counter by 20%, I believe. Uh, I don't remember. Um, attack is pretty okay, because she does stack it up. Her damage is pretty good. I feel like this is a decent build. It's not like your top tier Bologna, but it's not bad for sure. It's a pretty decent overall build for just being pretty good. Um, just for, you know, being budget or whatever. Another Bologna, let's see this one. Oh, this one looks about even slower and less, um, survivability. So 3,000 attack, okay. S in print. 314 critical damage, 168 speed, once again, pretty slow. I'm not sure what her speed needs to be, but that's, that seems pretty slow. 17,000 HP, and then 1,200 defense. I, f I feel like, the oh, she's on immunity. Um, Okay. Her S1 does provide immunity. I think that's pretty smart. Um, Pretty good. I think the other one is probably better, just because she is a bit faster, and her two pieces pin piece. Oh. Uh, yeah, I like the other one better. I think the pin piece is going to be more of a payoff for damage. Uh, another k -Ron. People love their k -Rons. 4,000 attack, 300 critical damage, 99% crit chance. Uh, what is that? 10k HP and no defense. Uh, zero effect resistance, so this thing's just going to do his counter and die, right? Um, you can just strip him. I guess you can bluff with the zero effectiveness or effect resistance, Kron. It's gonna do mega damage, so this might work. Just careful of Ari R R well. R well just strip and stun this thing instantly on the spot. Um Edward. It's just his stats. Um 
let alone HP for an Edward build, although he's got like no imprints, which is the tricky part. Uh, ideally, you want 20,000 HP of Edward, a little bit more defense, probably like 200 more defense. Uh, obviously, the crit chance is fine because he's hard to get with that imprint. Um, and then uh, your Edward could use some work. And it's, there's dead stat in here, effectiveness. Don't need it. 204 speed, though, is pretty good. It's a decent low imprint, Edward. Oh, we have two builds here. Let's take a peek. So his Flitica, 271, pretty good. Um, this thing is an effectiveness build of Flitica with Guiding Light. So she's going to do 114 effectiveness. This is kind of good for that speed. That's pretty good. So this is just going to be able to do the, uh, the effectiveness, effectiveness, effectiveness build of Flitica. Um, she can also do damage, but I mean, pick your build, pick your poison. If I were to ever get this unit, I think I would go damage build with her because I think it'd be more fun personally. I'm not sure which one's better, but you know, this is still pretty good for just being, you know, effectiveness. Uh, let's see this. This is a Aria 120 effect resistance with Bastion of Hope. Okay. 2000 defense, which is pog. 1300 health, which is decent 173 speed 98 percent crit chance 211 critical damage yeah. this thing does not do damage she's got the defense she's lacking the crit damage um i guess that's because you have to invest in the so much effect resistance damn i'm not even sure uh let me know in the comments below if you have an aria and what her effect resistance is to her crit damage i feel like you can still get like 280 crit damage on her, right? I feel like you should be able to. Uh, but the defense is there, which is nice. Um, so I think just because the defense is there, I'll give it a pass. But I feel like this thing doesn't do much damage for this build. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she does do crazy damage, but I don't know. How many imprints? One imprint. Okay. Another Felitica. Whenever this wants to. 276 build, so everyone likes that 270, 280 speed zone. Um, also, it's on a. Uh, higher attack build, but lower critical damage build. Um, 100% crit chance. This is definitely a C Cavill, or I guess Commander uh, Cavill setup unit for sure. Um, this got no critical damage though. I'm assuming he's on a crit chance neck, if that's the case. So, 3,600 attack to 190. This thing doesn't do much damage, but it, it does its job, which is set up Commander Cavill, I guess. So that's pretty cool. Still gives you the support of the AoE nullifier. Oh, here's one. Top model Lulica. Oh my god. Love this unit. I want this unit. One imprint. That's a feels bad. This thing wants to be triple S. You can tell by the crit chance. Um, 3,500 3, attack. Sick. 268 critical damage. Kind of low. 260 speed. Uh, that's pretty good. A uh, little faster would be better, but obviously it comes to a time. Wait, no, that's right, because she's on this. So never mind, her crit chance is correct because of the uh, the, the the hand of the, the black hand or whatever. Uh, I forget the name of this, the goddess of the black hand, I think it's called, or something like that. So that's right, that, that's right, that crit chance is correct. And then the critical damage would increase too, so she's pushing 280. Crit damage, uh, yeah, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. That artifact saved this build. If I didn't notice that artifact, this would have been like, oof. But uh, no, this is pretty good because of the because of the artifact. Though ideally you want her on book, right? I will say I think book is just better overall for her because she's a book holder. But like without imprints, it's really hard to maximize her. So I will, you know, respectably say this is a good build just because without imprints, her crit chance is a pain in the ass. Uh, what else do we have here? Another Arya. So 180, 90. What the hell am I looking at? Uh, <laughs> a little low in effect resistance. No, little to no critical damage. Um, 2,275 defense, which is nice. 14,000 HP, 159 speed. Just a bulky, bulky uh, frenzy bur burner. This is definitely a unit that will burn in frenzy for sure. Um, will he survive long enough? I don't know. Um, ER is not high enough though. The crit damage is kind of like where where is it? But you have a good lot of defense, so I feel like you probably overdid the defense by like a little bit. Not bad. Uh, Eula. I would see this. 30,000 HP counter set? Are you insane, brother? That's awesome. Uh, this thing is not dying. Zero Mola, Lamau. Zero imprints, Lamau. But this thing's beefy as hell and also missing a uh, awakening. No. Oh, God. You know what? 
whatever. This thing's gross. 30,000 HP, uh, 1,800 defense. Uh, it's a tank. The thing's a tank. I'll respect it. Um, Lionheart Sermia. Let's see this. Let's see this. I love LHC. Um, Draco plate user, life steal, defense. This is this is like mine. What the hell? Two thousand one hundred defense, perfect. Two eighty one uh critical damage on a Draco plate. That's respectable. One hundred percent crit chance. One ninety speed. Um, uh, yeah, this is a very good liner. This thing's better than mine, though. I haven't really invested into mine since she's been built. So I like this. This is a sick. This is a sick line art. Uh, ideally, in the future, I think you could drop the. Uh, the defense for pin to help that s1 damage out but that's like mid maxing right other than that this this thing's gross um okay savior aiden is on the list i have mine on lifesteal currently uh let's see this 4200 attack 344 critical damage that's bonkers damage 100 percent crit chance 200 207 speed so she's an anchor uh 18 8000 hp 800 defense pretty good for a nuker um just careful with that hp and defense even if you miss you're pushing like you're you're pushing those numbers that are scary that you might get killed with um but the damage is there this thing will ruin an apoc that's for sure i like it moving on to summer charlotte's oh boy 96 percent crit chance 50 50 lamau no that's pretty good uh 256 critical damage okay 3200 um Attack Unity Lifesteal. She's a Unity user. Oh god, it's toxic. One imprint or no, eight imprints. Level 30 uh sunglasses. Okay. Okay. Um a little squishy, but you know what? Pretty decent. Because you're on 87, 78, 78, 85. Like just just for being on budget gear. I'll, I'll this is respectable for budget gear. I'm sure you have her better now. Um oh another one. People like this summer Charlotte's. What the heck? Level 18, Portrait of Saviors. Lamau, free to play. Uh, 85, 85, 85, 85, 85. Alright, 98. <laughs> Portrait of shit. What the heck? Uh, that's squishy. Sorry if it's hard to see. Um, so it's got 10k HP. 976 defense. 79% crit chance. 281 critical damage. Uh, yeah, this thing needs to be reforged. But, and zero mola, zero imprints. I think this just... An unfinished build is this one finished this one looks finished let's go let's see what a real summer shirt looks like plus 15 artifacts you know what it's a draco plate glasses thing it's it's fine full mola triple s good god and you only have plus 15 that's oh i guess technically you could just have normal charlotte's uh count and a lifesteal and immunity 3000 attack 256 at 256 critical damage 100 Percent crit chance, 167, 16 KHP, 1200 defense. That's a respectable, that's a respectable build. Um, I don't know if she wants to be a lifesteal or counter though. Let me know in the comments below. I don't have a summer Charlotte. Another one. Oh my god, what's with the sharklets? Oh god, this one might be the best. I uh, will see. 3590 attack, uh, 282 critical damage, 93% crit chance. Doesn't crit ever, Lamau. <laughs> 141 speed, 14,000. HP, 1,100 defense, A imprints, lifesteal, immunity. I guess lifesteal might be the right build. Uh, no, lifesteal one. Wait, what? No, lifesteal. Yeah, it's lifesteal and then broken set. Okay. All right. All right. We got an um, BBK here. Let's check. Oh, my God. This looks like a godly BBK. What the heck? Bastion of Hope, 133 effect resistance. This is a real BBK. Torrent? Oh, my goodness. He's got double torrent. <laughs> what the hell? This thing's amazing. 116 speed, 100% crit chance, 284 critical damage, 300,649 attack. Oh my god, this thing's an insta kill some bitches. I like this. I don't care if this is copium, triple S. Um, double torrent, double resistance is the best. That, that's just funny, okay? That's just saving gear for other units. I love the uh, I love the efficiency of this. This is amazing. This is amazing. This is my favorite build so far. Double torrent. <laughs> Let's go. Um, Commander Pavel again. 5,120 attack. A 100% crit chance. 331 critical damage. That's pretty freaking good. 153 speed. It's above 150. It's respectable. That's where you need it to be. Uh, that's a good Commander Pavel on Duck Noctis. 
uh, crit chance destruction pieces. That's a good. That's a good cavil B imprint. That's a good cavil. Uh, if you want to make this thing better, plus thirty this, and you're chilling. Um, and this is uh, that's my commander cavil. You guys already seen that. Um, Lua. Okay, I want to see a Lua. Oh my god, three ten or three twelve. This is the fastest shoot it in my in my in my Discord. So let's see this. 98% crit chance. So she's going to be able to set up Commander Cavill. That's really freaking fast for 312. Ain't no one catching this thing. Um, 11,000 HP, 100, or 1,100 defense. Tanky enough to make it work. Effectiveness is 121. This is a real Lua. Jesus, this Lua is amazing. Can I have this for my account? I need a 312 unit. What the hell? That's crazy. Uh, what is this? Degenerate build. What am I looking at? Injury defense Lilibits. The fuzz? Uh, 1,500 defense, 17,000 HP, 2,200 attack, 240 crit damage, 100% crit chance. You know what? <laughs> That's funny. I like it. It's pretty funny. Uh, we're gonna skip the movies here. Uh, this is a straight isolate. Let's see this. 250 speed lifesteal. Double S. One more imprint. We'll get you that 100%. 280 critical damage. 3,500. You just came in here to flex your, to flex your shit on me. This is, this is mine in like 10 years. I love this thing. I would use this every game. 250 speed? What the hell? This is a 10 out of 10. No, this is a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 because you're missing an imprint and you don't have 300 crit damage. But other than that, that's just me being a douche. I love this thing. It's amazing. Oh my goodness. Uh, your HP is low too. I'm jealous. Um, another minor is Semia. 2,000 defense. Sick. 300 critical damage with Draco Plate. Insane. 173 speed. 96% crit chance on an S imprint. Respectable. 1,600 attack and 1,500 defense. All around awesome. Pen lifesteal, or uh, crit chance lifesteal. Very good. Um, very good. I don't care. Um, oh my goodness. So many units. Looks, uh, this is a sacred team. I don't need to look at that. I want to see PvP units. Um, oh, this is a updated build, or is this a new 19,000 HP, 300 critical damage, 3,000 uh, attack, 1358 defense. That's a good bull on a pen counter i like it does she have natural life steal in her kit oh it's cigarettes oh, plus her. yeah this is good this is good that's sick uh, i'm trying to speed this along because it's probably going on a little bit long Twenty thousand hp 16 um thousand or twenty thousand hp 1600 defense on a row that's 177 effect resistance 205 speed holy sack you're pogging Plus 30 this holy sack and you're you're pogging. You don't even need the triple SM. I mean eventually you should, but that that's that's a real girl's that that's crazy. Oh hand guy. 2500 HP, sick. 1500 defense, sick. 236 speed. Zero artifact. That's Sasi Baka. Um 14 speed slower than I think a like a perfect one, which is not too bad. Um and then he's splitting some effect resistance and effectiveness. I think you should just pick one or the other. Um, or just put these stats in the HP and or even speed, and you're good. Other than that, I'm not complaining. It's still good. You're missing an artifact though. B imprint. That's that's just a good hand guy. Um, okay, we're on our last three. Let's do this. What is this? Mort. Twenty one thousand HP, twelve hundred defense, hundred percent crit chance, two sixty nine crit damage. Lamau. Um, crit chance and life steal. One in prints. Okay, that's a that's a mort. Uh, D Corvus thirty one thousand HP, four almost fifteen hundred defense, one seventy five speed doesn't matter. Uh, once oh that's that's awkward. Um, you need to take this effect of it. Well, actually, he does provoke. Actually, damn, I don't know. Do you want to go more effect resistance on him? He's immune to stun, so that's a major thing. But you can sleep him still. Um, let me know in the comments below if you go effect resistance on your D Corvus or effectiveness because of the provoke triple S 75 gear. What the hell? That's a well, I'm on 188 piece. You know what? I take that back for being a budget build. That's friggin' tanky. <laughs> what the heck? And then our last uh, unit in the roster, Alder Unfin. 
Champions Trophy, plus 15. Immunity Speed, 231 Speed, 1400 or 14,000 HP, 1400 defense, 24% effectiveness. Pretty good. Uh, she's a pretty slow unit, but you know what? This will work for her purposes. Um, Pretty okay. Uh, she's a hard unit to build. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. That's pretty tanky for what she's doing. Um, Champion's Trophy. I think you want to put Snow Globe on her, though, realistically. One imprint. The attack. 4,000 attack is still a lot. So, that's pretty good. So, that's been it for the uh, my, my Discord's builds. A lot of funny ones, a lot of really good competitive ones. It's cool to see the diversity of units, too. You guys love your Bologna's, that's for sure. I noticed that, and that was fun. If you guys would like to take part of the, maybe me doing this again in the future, join the Discord and post your builds, and whenever, you know, there's a bunch in there, I'll do another updated video on this. I'll talk to you later. Peace.